Welcome back to John Brown in your town. We're right here along Plant Street, which is really the main street in downtown Winter Garden. And we found a cool place. We're going to take you way back in time. It is the historic Edgewater Hotel. This place dates back to the 1920s, but wait until you see how, what they've done inside. Inside the historic Edgewater Hotel, it's like a time capsule. It feels just like it would have probably in the 1920s when it opened. Look at that, there's even a barber shop right here on the first floor. We're talking old school. It's now bed and breakfast, but it still feels like that old school hotel. Mike Lanza, he's one of the owners of the place. Mike, good to see you. Thanks for having us in nice here. To see you. Okay, this the whole thing is so cool. Tell us the yeah. history about this place, first of all. Well, it had opened in um, January of 1927, and you know, this is prior to any kind of hospitality industry in the area. There was, you know, no no theme parks or Disney or anything like that, and people came down for the for the great bass fishing. It's an old historic hotel now, but it was it was one of the most technically advanced hotels of of its time. Well, since it was on Lake Apopka, by the way, thus the name. Edgewater. Yes, right? Exactly. And I've seen, I mean, way before Disney, this even attracted some celebrities and big time fishing tournaments. Name a celebrity who's been here before. The most uh, persistently reliable rumor that we have is that uh, Clark Gable had, had stayed here. All right, you talked about the technology. You still have the original working elevator. Let's go check that one out. Exactly. All right, so this is now, this is so cool. All right, explain, is this the lobby now, yes, more or less? Yes, this is, this is the, the second floor lobby. And our goal here was so that people of, of our age now could experience what it was like to visit Florida in the 1920s and, and 30s. What about the rooms? Have you upgraded the rooms? Because nobody wants to stay in a 1920s bed. Right, right, yeah, yeah, that's. You know, one thing that we have done is that, you know, every room is kind of individually decorated and it has that look and feel of the 1920s and 30s. But there are kings and queen size beds. We also have AC, you know, no one who was here in the the originally in, in the 1920s would have had AC, you know, you just would have had the windows open. Some things had to be upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> so you have the look and feel of the 1920s and 30s, but you're going to have the minor conveniences that you could expect in a hotel now. Right, thank goodness for air conditioning. There's the hotel right there. You can see the first floor. They have the ice cream shop, the barber shop, the chef's table tasting room. So it's really brought a lot of people back into this area. And there are a lot of people tonight. Look at this, these guys, they're getting ready to perform tonight. They're gonna have a live concert coming up in just a bit. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. You're with Parks and Rec, aren't you? Good to see you. So, and they're also getting all set up right here. Crowds are gonna start showing up. So Ray and Luann, as the sun goes down, this town starts heating up modern day Mayberry and we're going to be here for it on John Brown in your town in Winter Garden. Such a beautiful quaint town. John, thank you.